Let's say now that we want to have a different color for the header row. The way that you can do that is you can use the first child selector. So these are all the rows and the rows are child elements of the table. And the first child is the header row. So you can go like this, go inside the table, attack the rows, but only the first child. And then change the background color. We'll go with light gray. Very good. How about an alternating pattern for the colors? So you could also think of this as the first row, second row, third row, fourth row, right? So how about if we try to make the, the even rows, right? Let's see, one, one, two, the odd rows. Let's make the odd rows white, okay? So we can go like this. My table, the rows, and we attack only the nth child odd. And so we can go with white there, see what happens. So that's good. All right, so I changed the first and third rows to white, but we don't really want to change the header. So what could we do there? You can see that this is overriding what we just did. And that's because it appears it's the most recent rule. So what we could do is we could put this one last and that will override what's done here. So this colors the first and third white, and then we go back and color the first one gray. Very good. So the last thing I think I'll show you is hover. So once again, let's go into my table, attack the rows, but now we're only changing the background color when we hover over the row. So let's go yellow. So there's our table. And now when we hover over the rows, it highlights it as yellow. Now we probably don't want to highlight the header. So once again, right, this is overriding this. So if we put this last, it will make sure that the header is always gray. Okay, so this will override the hovering rule here for the header. Let's organize this a little bit better here. Okay, so now when I hover, right, it doesn't affect the, the header. All right, so that's all I really wanted to do. Uh, and I think this will end our section on CSS. So my next playlist will be on SVG in Observable Notebooks.